Hello friends, welcome to Techtember. Yes, that's what they are calling it because September is one of the busiest months in the world of tech. Do you know how many smartphones were launched in September last year? 31. Yes, there were more smartphones than the days of this month last year. And if trends are to go by, if leaks are to go by, even this year is going to be very, very busy. Of course, Apple is going to launch its new iPhones. Poco is coming up with a new phone. So is Redmi. IQ is expected to launch a phone as well. Asus might drop the Zenfone 9 for all we know. So this is going to be a very busy month for all the tech enthusiasts. And of course, me and my team because we'll be here in this studio covering all these phones for you. But this is our weekly Let's Get Techie episode where I try and answer all your questions. So in case you're new to the channel and if you haven't subscribed to it, first of all, subscribe to the channel and then go to the comment section, put your question, use the hashtag Let's Get Techie and I'll take up those questions in next week's video. Now, let me start with this week's video and the first question that I have this week is from Ankit Pal. Question in Hindi, I will give English. Question is, is there a Q app on the Fiber app? And he's also asked if somebody is starting as a content creator, should they target Twitter ya fir unhe Koo ka istamal karna chahiye. But yeah, Ankit, first of all, no, we are not on Koo. As of now, we are not using Koo. But Fiverr is there on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well as of course YouTube where you're watching this video. So these are four social media platforms that we are active on. And I would also recommend you the same that if you are starting out as a content creator, you should target Twitter first because it's the more universally accepted platform. It has better reach as of now. Uh, but if you're ba if you have the bandwidth, if you are able to run two separate social media platforms at the same time, then of course you can also have a platform or uh, an account on Koo. But I would give preference to Twitter over Koo any day. Next question is from Santosh Anand, and he has said that Asus Zenfone 9 might not launch in India, and he also said that a big YouTuber has unboxing video on his channel and deleted it. और उन्होंने भी यही बताया है. So first of all, I'm totally unaware of this. I don't know who this YouTuber is. From what I know, ASUS absolutely has the plans to launch the Zenfone 9 in India. You also have to factor in that just, just, just the two smartphones that ASUS anyway launches in India. I mean, there's the ROG lineup and there's, there's the Zenfone uh, whatever 8Z or 9Z, whatever they're gonna call it. So if they don't launch the, this phone as well in the Indian market, then better quit the market at once because it doesn't make any sense otherwise. So I think the ASUS Zenfone 9 will still come to India. We'll have to be a little more patient uh, about that. Now, Virendra Kumar has asked that government's ban on Chinese smartphones under rupees 12,000 would give a chance to local companies to improve their sales and make some profit. Now, Virendra, I think that's where you've got it a bit wrong because yes, there was a report which suggested that the government might actually put a ban on Chinese companies from selling phones under rupees 12,000, but now it has also come out and clarified that there is no such proposal or plans to ban these companies and I really appreciate it because the government has been very honest in saying that you know this is not the right way to promote the local manufacturers yes it wants to push the Indian companies but you can't really stop uh, foreign companies to do business in India and as things stand there is absolutely no plan to ban any company from selling phones under rupees 12,000. Next question is from Vishal Kriplani Garmin Solar Watch is it worth or is it Apple Watch is something that you should buy? Now, I haven't used the Garmin Solar Watch, so I won't comment on that. Apple Watch is something that I've been using for a while. I've been using the Apple Watch Series 7. It's genuinely pretty good. Uh, it has all the features that you ask for. A battery life is a little underwhelming. Maybe, I mean, it runs maximum for a day, uh, but you get a lot of features. And if you're using an iPhone, then I mean, that whole, you know, experience is very seamless. Shirin has asked me which has better battery life, the OnePlus 10T or the Pixel 6a. So in our use case, I didn't find much of a difference between the Pixel 6a and the OnePlus 10T battery. Uh, I think a lot will depend on your use case, how you use the phone. Uh, probably OnePlus 10T's battery is slightly better than Pixel 6a. Also, it comes with a faster charging support, so that really helps in maintaining the battery levels. But more or less, you get the same amount of battery from both the phones, unless you, you know, extensively use the phone for some particular task, maybe let's say gaming or to click a lot of pictures, then the battery life, of course, will depend on that. But yes, both the phones offer a pretty decent, uh, you know, battery packer. So guys, these are the questions that I had for today. Now, in case I missed anything or in case there is something else that pops up in your head, do go to the comment section, push the, put the hashtag, let's get techie. Put in your question, I'll take them up in next week's video. Thank you for joining.